In continuing the previous conversation, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously answered questions which a Supreme Master television team member had in relation to the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian crisis and the United States administration. Oh Master, can we talk more about the Israel and Palestine conflict? Do you have any further thoughts? What else can we talk about? But uh, no, I go ahead. Any thoughts or news Master wants to share further? Yeah, it, it all seemed like the Palestinians started it first, but it wasn't actually exactly like that. Yes, right. The police already went to that holy temple and they've been clashing already with the Palestinians and there was some injured or deaths already there. That's why the active uh, Hamas party told Israel to please uh, withdraw the police force from there because they don't want any more injury or bloodshed there in the holy temple or on the temple compound. Yes, understand. But the Israelis did not cooperate with that or just ignore them. And that's how things became more serious afterwards and more people died, more children died, and more damage, more buildings <sighs> destroyed. So we cannot just blame the Palestinians. Yes, Master. Besides, I told you already, it has been bottling up over the years. And even Hamas already offered to have a truce with Israel, but the Israel side rejected it. So how many more people have to die before Israel stops? This is not right. For God's sake, for the love of God, it's not right. They must stop the bloodshed. Yes, the violence and deaths are so sad. Um, if President Donald Trump was in office, uh, would the conflict between Israel and Palestine be minimized or resolved? Yeah, sure, I think so, because he, he knows how, and uh, his people have the same ideal, his administration, his family assistants, they all support him fully and have the same direction in peace. All right. And uh, supportive of peace. Yes. Yes, and also his mission, his mandate of heaven. Oh, good. Yeah, but you know, luckily, the world people, they are too smart in doing, you know, fraud things. Yeah. I, mean, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Because it just makes me more... Uh, Frustrated and vexed. Yes, Master. This is the world where people cheat to go up, okay? Yeah, yeah. They cheat in many ways, using sex to go up, using fake strategy to go up, or using fraud to go up, and grabbing power, you know what I'm saying? Mm, yes, yes. It's everywhere. Right. Sadly, for the great America, it's similar. And I was disappointed, of course. Okay. What was it you wanted to know? Um, can the Biden administration do something to resolve this conflict? Yeah, yeah. Can they? They approved and are about to sell more weapons to Israel. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's how they resolve the conflict. Eh? They make oh. it bigger so that they can sell more. Oh, man. Mm hmm And... Uh, uh, Biden has to be pressured into telling Israel to stop. Yeah, yeah, symbolic. Okay, meanwhile, can sell more weapons. It's so hypocritical. Do you understand that? Uh, There's no love yes. in uh, any of their actions. Just politically motivated and uh, just hypocritical. Just power grabbing. Yeah, right. Uh, you know, all that is just political. Uh, just for optics show, like theater, there's nothing real, there's no love. 
in the action. You know, just a photo op. This is really unacceptable. Like, just sidetracking things. Just make it seem good or look good. Well, it's not real. Uh, the inside is different from the outside. We cannot cheat heaven. You understand? It is all hypocritical. I tell you why. You know, otherwise they know they open the border because they lo they, uh, they love the children and all that, yeah? Yes. Now Biden said that and invited them to the White House, West Wing, East Wing, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And meanwhile, sell more weapons to the already very, very powerful Israel to bomb more children uh -huh. of the Palestinian people. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me, is that not hypocritical? Yes, very hypocritical, mm -hmm. Master. So what can they do to stop the conflict? No. They put more gasoline into the fire. Oh, man. You can see that very well. Yeah. If you want to stop the conflict, you don't sell more weapons to the more powerful one. Yeah, true. Israel is in a powerful state already of everything. Yeah, true. Economically, uh, manpower, weaponry, military, and landmass, everything, they are more powerful already. And they sell more weapons. Oh, man. Yeah, money, power. That's all they care about, I'm telling you. I don't care if anybody says something else. Mm. It's so clear like the daylight. Yes, oh. true, Master. If you really love the children, all children are equal to you. Yes. All children are children, they are innocent. That's right. They do nothing wrong. They need to be protected, nurtured, huh? Exactly. And you don't sell more weapons to their enemies, to, to bomb them. Hmm? No. Yeah, yeah, that's the love of the Biden administration, or whatever. It may not be the whole administration. It's the top ones, you know, whom I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you ask more about it, I will get mad. Okay? okay. I'm master. a very angry master. <laughs> I told you. I'm a very angry vegan master. <laughs> <laughs> no, master, you just speak the truth. You just speak the truth. Yeah, I'm vexed. I'm very angry inside and anguished. Yes, master. I cannot keep crying 24-7. I'm anguished inside. There's too it, much it, suffering. It really pains in my heart a lot. Yes, master. Thank you for sharing your extra thoughts yeah uh, i just hope it it will minimize soon yeah i do also i'm praying yes thank you master for all your prayers yeah i just wish that president trump was still in office yeah he would know how to handle it you see he handled korea yeah yes and in peaceful manner even though it's not all satisfactory but korea respects him and his intention, and his uh, genuine uh, quality of a human, right, yes. of a real president, of a great country. Yeah. He's not for profit, he's not for fame. He's mandated by heaven to be the president at this time, to help people, okay? He can handle Korea, he can handle the Middle East, you see what I'm saying, yes. many countries, crisis. This vision for peace is fundamentally different from past proposals. This is peace in the Middle East without blood all over the sand. I say it. It's going to be peace in the Middle East. It's a great plan for peace. I want this deal to be a great deal for the Palestinians. It has to be. Today's agreement is a historic opportunity for the Palestinians to finally achieve an independent state of their very own. This afternoon to change the course of history. After decades of division and conflict, we mark the dawn of a new Middle East. Thanks to the great courage of the leaders of these three countries, we take a major stride toward a future in which people of all faiths, 
and backgrounds live together in peace and prosperity. They're going to work together. They are friends. The State of Israel and the Republic of Sudan have agreed to make peace. Now multiple Arab countries across two continents have made peace with Israel. And we have many, many more coming. I'm pleased to announce a truly historic commitment. Serbia and Kosovo have each committed to economic normalization. It's my honor, and it's the chairman's honor, I would say. We work well together, and Mr. President, thank you. He's a great man. He should be in the White House. Yes. Mm. His heart is in the right place. We, we feel he's got a good heart for a president. Yes. He really deserves to be the president. Yes, yes. Uh, he, he's genuine. Yes. He's not a fake or hypocritical person at all. Yeah? That's right. 100% pure and genuine. Yes. And yeah, really caring for his country and other people in the world. And that's right. Oh, what's it do? And this administration opened the border and let the children be wrapped together in emergency blankets and, and squeezed together like sardines in the can and then get infected one to another, you know? There were even news about children molestation, children being molested at the border camp or border hotel. So they had to be moved to somewhere else. I think that that was in Fox News a while ago. You know, because they're squeezing like that in a pen, yes. in a dog pen like pages, yeah. which they have built from the last time they were in power already. Oh. When Biden was still a uh, vice president, they built all these cages, yeah. like for dogs, for animals. Oh, yeah, talking about compassion and love and all that. Mm. And then the children came in tens of thousands. Yeah. They were squeezing in there and get sick and get cold and get undernutrition and all that. It's very chaotic. Nobody manages to well there because they are not ready mm. for all that influx all of a sudden. Yes. Under President Trump, it was more in order and controlled. That's right, Master, yes. And he said, just stay in uh, Mexico and apply. Yes, exactly. Yeah, not that he said, no, you cannot come. Apply. Yeah. So they can control to see if the children have any uh, infectious disease that can affect other children while they are in the uh, screening area. Yeah, this is very sensible and very considerate. Mm, that's right. Yeah. So. Just saying compassion, compassion, that doesn't mean you are having compassion. Oh, true. You have to be logical and with all the logistic preparedness for the guests when they come. So just talking about love and compassion is all fake. Yeah. Yes, Master. Okay, mm. good, huh? Okay, mm. Master. All right, so do um, you have any other problem? Um. I mean, at work or anything else? No, things seem to be okay. Okay, good. That's fine. Yes, thank you very much for asking. All right. Good. How are you otherwise? Uh, I don't even know how I am. Uh oh, Master. <laughs> I just work, work, work. Yeah. Oh. Uh, not regular life. Yeah. But yes. it's okay. I'm very grateful that I can work. Yeah, we are all too, Master, and we pray for your health and safety always. Thank you. Same. Same here, same here for you. Thank you, Master. All of you. Thank you, Master. Who are the heroes of our time. I mean it. Yeah. Thank you, Master. You're welcome and God bless all of you. Hmm? Thank you. God bless you, Master. God bless the world. And lift us up to a higher consciousness so that we can see the light. Yes. Especially those warmongers, aggressive type of people and race of beings. And those countries that just thrive on the blood of others. Yeah. Oh. My God, make them see the light. Yes. Thank you, my Lord, for your patience, tolerance, and mercy on us all. We thank you, and may you be blessed also, my Lord.
may you be well in peace with all this turbulence that pains your heart. It must be a painful sight for you to watch our planet in turmoil and all the suffering and pain that's inflicted by the humans on themselves, on their fellow beings and the animals. Be yourself blessed in peace, my Lord. If that's necessary, we love you. We love you, really, we love you. Okay, bye, my love. Oh, no. Bye. Goodbye, Master. After all this news, we are so elated to hear of the ceasefire agreement between Israel and Palestine or Hamas. When Master learned of the ceasefire news, she was crying with joy and prostrated in heartfelt, humble gratitude to God for this peace sign and pray that it will last. Most benevolent Master, we thank heavens for your precious presence here on earth while humanity is in profound need of your boundless love and guidance during current challenging times. Your tireless dedication to the betterment of our world blesses all beings in it and we pray for humans to embrace God's mercy, taking the path of repentance and compassion. May cherished Master be with peace in the heart, always safe and healthy, in the loving assistance of all Divine Protectors.